airwaves network super mercado bros let's play of resident evil 3 i'm your host mike mercado i want to thank you guys so much for making us a part of your day it is friday april 17th at 1 20 p.m here in the beautiful city of chicago and we continue on with our part two now of our let's play of resident evil 3 if you've missed any one of our past let's plays make sure you guys are subscribed to us on twitch and on youtube.com slash mercado airwaves network i'm also so on twitter at mike at media and on instagram at Mike Mercado Media. So we'll get right back into this bad boy. Let us uh, let me make sure that everybody will be able to join us, my friends. So stick around for just a little bit. Alrighty, my friends, it looks like we are up and ready to go here on our Let's Play of Alrighty, my friends, Doom like Eternal. That audio check looks good. I'm going to have the Twitch stream up because it looks like we were dropped during the middle of our Let's Play yesterday of Resident Evil 3, and I had to combine them, so you might have missed some stuff. So when we get back to it, we'll... Uh, uh, we'll kind of give you guys a rundown of where we're at. Look at this. So we got a couple things we won. Yeah, see, we did a bunch of stuff yesterday. I hope you guys got to see most of it. Yeah. And the one thing that we did notice while we were playing was... The demo definitely showed one thing, but it wasn't necessarily the entire game, you know? So we load the game. 
1847, that's how long we were playing, is 18 minutes. I feel like it was longer than that, though, you know? Because if I look at my video, it definitely was a 40-minute play session, so that's a little interesting. Oh, no, there you go, total play time, an hour and 41 minutes. So definitely, you guys missed a lot during our, our playthrough. That's a shame. That's a mistake on my end, and uh, I'll make sure to have a stream up that that won't happen again. But let's go ahead and get right back to it. Make sure you guys are following us also where we get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves. We've done a bunch of cool stuff up there recently. And uh, I know a lot of you who are wrestling fans have uh, some interesting thoughts and some want some conversation about what happened with the recent WWE firings due to COVID-19. And uh, I had a Sports from the Couch episode on there. And I actually brought in as a guest host to join me was Super Mercado Bro in training. The good brother himself, Alex Mercado, joined us to talk about that. So make sure you guys check it out. So if you're wondering, we found a, if you missed it, we found an extra uh, pack, like a fanny pack, so that we get more room in the inventory. We had the shotgun. Um, yeah, we found some, the, the cheats to to get the, the handgun accessory. So it sucks you guys missed a lot of that, but just know we haven't died yet. We've had a good run, and uh, we've only met Nemesis a few times. If you guys want to see how far I've done the map, you guys can see right here. So I've done a lot of blues. And now we get back to it, my friends. I asked on the last time we did it when we were doing this yesterday, was Carlos back in the original one like very, very prominent? Like, was he one of the main guys? And were we supposed to like like him? Is he a likable character? Is he a douche? Like, what's uh, what's his deal? I, was, I wondered what the original was like for that. For sure, we're due with a an encounter with Nemesis. It's been a little while since I've seen him. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm telling you, I, I wish I had these headsets when I was playing the la um, excuse me, when I was playing The Evil Within 2. Ooh, there he is, I told you. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh boy. Run, Jill. Ooh, a supply case. So you do get stuff for knocking him down. Keep going, home girl. Oh, damn. Yeah, boy. Holy crap. You know what's funny, though, is... Uh, I was mentioning this in the last Let's Play. Nice. Um, much more than the Tyrant in RE2... He definitely he definitely looms over the game much more than uh, than Tyrant, you know. Yeah. 
And, I mean, that's definitely credit to to the developers of the game. Yeah, have you guys missed it? We found a red jewel and the blue jewel. Oh, you can hear him. That's so creepy, you can hear him. Oh, oh that's weird that they... Oh, no! Keep going, keep going! Holy crap! Oh no! Oh no, get off! Damn it! That's upsetting. Oh, I thought I had a I had a good thing going, my friends. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so we got to go one. What's that? Fost Avenue? Number nine? Five, six, oh. That's interesting. Okay. Maybe number nine. No. Number six. No. I don't know what that looks like. Let's, uh. This is Raccoon Central Station. This one should be S, -S A. Okay. So this one though should be R something. All right. So now. That's number two. So I want, I want RE1, FA2, RA4, hmm. So I need RA4. And FA2, RA4, and FA2. There we go. Ah, oh, interesting. So 
so RA3. There we go. Now I wonder if Nemesis is going to be out there still. Because I am screwed. Your boy here with her girl don't got no health. I mean, I can use anything. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh. That sucks. You're only going to be able to... They're going to be able to switch sides on you. Oh, damn. There's a bunch of them now. Um... Damn, there is no health anywhere. Oh wait, can I pick these locks? Oh shit! I'm a dummy. I totally forgot I had that. Aw, oh, damn it. Hand grenade? I need more than that. Oh, I forgot that I had that option. That's good. At least I can... Oh, uh, at I least that way I can... Uh, what else are the ones that lock picks? Monument, simple lock. But over here? What am I closer to? Either way, it's not going to be good since I'm uh, struggling for health. Yeah, I got to bust it right regardless. Oh, no. No, oh, no. And we've seen this part of the demo. Damn. Okay. At least this guy's dead. I just got no health to deal with these guys, you know? Right, that's the real thing. No! Oh shit! Oh no. No 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 no. No 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 no. No. Oh, I died. You are dead. Let's load again. Let's try that one more time. 
Ah, such a bummer. Oh, I'm gonna have to uh, fight him again so I can get the case right. Watch now; it's gonna be tougher. I should have just saved it. I could dump me. Okay, so we gotta do this again. Here he comes. Alright, so now we can do this. Always can use more bullets. Okay. Right here, right? Yeah, this is where he comes from. There you go, he got the first swing on my ass already. Nice. Hey, dumb bitch. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? What? Run. Come back to the station. Not until I get shot from control online. All right, let's do this again. Let's examine that. That's really fun. Let's combine that with this. That's good. All right. Now, it sucks I got hit, but oh well. Maybe there's health in here. I wonder how long that thing's going to last. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll save right now. Alright, guys. This is me saving it. I'm trying to keep it under 7. I wanted to do under 5, but it looks like I'm definitely not going to do that. Maybe my next playthrough. Oh no. Oh. Oh, why would I go in here? Ooh! Oh!
This is getting intense, guys. Oh, jeez, Louise. My bad. <laughs> okay. I right, three. There you go. Good job, guys. We did it. Master of Locks. Nice. Just for Nemesis, huh? I totally forgot I had the simple lock. Thank God. Another one. Right. So you got to shoot it really fast before it closes its uh, vagina mouth. Probably the donut shop. Let's open this up. Very good. We got a hand grenade, that'll come be useful when we deal with nemesis so this is all blue now so we're gonna have to bust it right should I get to the stairs we gotta get to the subway station all right here he comes Oh no, I used the wrong button. Oh no! Well, thanks for the help, big guy, but... Oh shit. Get out of here! Yeah. 
Oh, damn it. Your boy is struggle bus right now. And now I have him on my ass again. Holy crap. I got a buster, right? Oh, I can't. Oh, dear Christ. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. what comes out for this one. Ooh. Nice. That's fun. in this simple lock it has uh oh shotgun shells not exactly what I wanted but that's what happens from time to time damn I got my ass whooped on this round Nikolai. Oh no. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me, it's me. Oh, what a gangster. Oh, it got me. I'm the last shot. <laughs> Yeah, we'll continue. That'll be my first official death. Oh, I needed that damn health. Damn, she's a hard ass. Oh, did I miss it? What an asshole. Oh, he got my ass. Another one. Come on, Joe. Yeah, girl. Oh, he's going to grab you.
Damn, I'm telling you, there's no chill in this game. You could just feel him the entire time coming Damn, down. Damn, I'm telling you, there's no Like, that's still one fun thing about it, you know? It's like, he's just looming the entire way. What's in it? Uh, some more shotgun. I mean, it's the only thing that will work against him, right? Close it, close it, before he shows up. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos. Damn. What a badass. To a safe room we are. I'm out of the area. Perfect. All right, let's save it right here. Still no health. There's a pouch right there. Uh huh. That does not sound good. Personnel and the controller's response. We were placed in the engine column. New security protocols. Social made battery pack to be distributed out to all employees. Alright, so that's what we're gonna need is a battery pack. Means we're going down? Oh man. A Resident Evil game inside the sewers. You know this mission's gonna suck. I, I was about to say, you know, this is where the big ugly things come in, right? But uh, they're all big ugly things. Ooh, there's a grenade over here? Where? Okay. So the office is probably the way I want to go. Does it come out from here? Oh, it's a herpes monster. All right, that's a herpes monster. I know when I see it. Nice. Damn, they just load your boy up. So let's put. So it's, the game isn't giving me any damn health. But it's like loading us up with uh, ammo.
Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Alright, so this office is cleared. Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish, combat potential low. April 18th experimented with addition of hormones and drugs once adjustment for positive results. With a sufficient, where am I? S significant rise in combat potential. The specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Umbrella is officially shut down. Gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. Sewers increase temperature, set to decrease in water quality. But specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly toward us, but I have a procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they've been uncontrollable. We are lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief. It's so beginning to feel cramped due to Gamma's continued growth, which begin to consider other possible arrangements. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's promptly eliminated him. This proves their Liability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps those they will see the light. That's just a tad bit scurry. Thank you guys for joining us here in our Let's Play of Resident Evil 3 here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Super Mercado Bros. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. I appreciate you guys so much for joining us. We've done some really fun podcasts, too, over the little while now to keep you guys company. If you guys want to check those out, wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves, give us a like, rate, review, and share us. There he is. And you'll be able to support the network that way. True crime, pop culture, sports, interviews with athletes, celebrities, and everything in between. Some good stuff, guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. The grenades are a lifesaver in RE3, my friends. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Let's see. This brings us back up this way, and I probably want to go to the lab. Let's see if there's anything down here, though. Yeah. Because we can always use some. Ooh, this looks like a... That is what I'm talking about, kids. That's totally not creepy. Super workers notes. They got cane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said he'd probably skip town, but I said no way. Not with his baby coming any day. But they but did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke breathing, toad face motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freak shows is it's my face, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it right in its ugly mouth. Mm. In the arms of an angel. Alright, let's see. It is 2 p.m. here in the beautiful city of Chicago, my friends, on a Friday, April 17th. I hope you guys are all being safe and sound. And thank you guys for joining us here on Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network for another playthrough of Resident Evil 3. I think we're going to need this one, right?
There we go. Thing is, is I don't know how many regular bullets it's gonna take to take that thing down, you know? Alright, well here's the lab. Always fun stuff in a lab. Alright. That's the high grade. We'll wait off on that for a second. Let's use this. Oh, explosive. So wait, do I have um No, I don't think I can. what I can use is a Do I have that? I still got two more. Alright, so I'll open up one spot. So I definitely need the battery pack. Oh, damn, it takes two spots? What's on this end? Alright, so you know what I need to do? I need to go back to the office and drop off some stuff and come back here. Because there's a bunch of stuff I need here. There's a green herb, explosive, explosive, paperwork, yes. Yeah, so we'll be back. Let's go over here. Hopefully we don't have to fight anything again. Like we didn't prompt anything, you know? Uh, yep. Alright, so I think here's where we could drop everything off. Yeah, alright. Let's drop. Let's store that. I think we probably need a. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll store those for now. I'll store these for now. Maybe I'll I'll regret it. Maybe I won't. The world may never know. Okay, so but take that, take that, take that, a love letter, my little darling, it's already been three months since we fled here together, I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched, your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, that ferocious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet, they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. 
So what if you're susceptible to heat? <laughs> Thank you. So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't you ever heard of a character flaws? <laughs> it is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Well, that's cool that they're part of the Hunter series, but damn it, this is a funny letter. Okay, so all that's left here is the battery pack, right? So what you should do, because that'll definitely trigger something. So, and with all this in your inventory, you got to go back to the save room. You know, we're not trying to speed run this, but we're also trying not to add on to the death total. Gotta go back this way. Now it's funny playing as Jill and we had obviously Claire Redfield's side in RE2. Would love for REA to be back to Chris Redfield. Maybe have Claire in there too. Alright, so. First what I want to do is move that with that. Combine that. Okay. Take that out. And this one combined with the explosive A to create fly fire. Okay, perfect. That's all I wanted. Perfect. C, perfecto. High grade gunpowder. Take that out. What did those two things make? Shotguns, love it. Perfect though. You see now though how all of a sudden we're running a little bit more efficient. Oh, shortcut. All right. Okay, and now we save it for one final time for hopefully a little while. And from there. And then from there. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with us here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. And on YouTube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network, I'm your host, Mike Mercado. Here on Super Mercado Bros, our Let's Play of Resident Evil 3. I appreciate you guys joining us. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter at Mike M Media and on Instagram at Mike Mercado Media so you can see what we're up to, what we're going to play, what the latest podcasts are going to be about, all that and so much more, including who are the guests that we will be having on, athletes and celebrities, all that and much more. You guys can find that out, and you can listen to those interviews with athletes and celebrities and all our different shows, wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves. Oh, you know what I just realized, though? I'm not going to have room for... This is going to take up two spots. I definitely need these right here. What I don't need is the lockpick. Yeah, so you know what I'm going to do? I got I to gotta go back all the way over there. Sorry, guys. I was hoping just to use that time to go ahead and plug everything. But yeah, that's where you guys could support us. That's where you guys could follow us. For all you who are wrestling fans, if you've missed it earlier on in our playthrough, I had on The Good Brother from The Good Brothers podcast, Alex Mercado. He joined me on Sports from the Couch to talk about the latest firings in the WWE due to COVID-19, a.k.a. coronavirus. And uh, it was a good conversation. We talked a lot about what it means for the business, the future. And then we also talked about favorite sports jerseys. What makes a good sports jersey? A really fun conversation. I think you guys really enjoy it. Check it out 
wherever you guys get your favorite podcast. See, I'm going to put the survival knife away because I feel if there's a lock that I need that might have some ammo during a fight, I'll need it. And I could always shoot a box. Worst case scenario, you know. I know it might give me the last sh ditch shot or whatever, but I don't know. I'll risk it. But also speaking just a little bit ago about what we want for RE3, excuse me, RE8. Since we know we're getting an RE4 remake, which I will play the sh shit out of. I, that's my favorite game probably of all time. Um, I don't know. I would love it to be a mix of first person and third person. I think that'd be really cool. Alright. See? That definitely triggered something. Flame rounds. You see? Oh, I can't hold them. That's a bummer. I will have to come back for those. Let's... Oh! That is a ugly mother. See, I'm definitely going to need those, uh, those rounds right there. I'm going to put the health away. Because if push comes to shove and there's a boss fight, there will be health there. I wasted one bullet though, that sucks. Alright. Now I can go back. <laughs> this is Resident Evil guys, this is the game. Back and forth. Inventory management. Yeah. 
can't go anywhere here like that. Okay. Okay, guys, just making sure the stream was still up and running. Let's do a quick test to make sure we are good. Hey, guys, just making sure the stream was still Yeah, we are aces. Okay. All right, so we got to go down this way now. Where's the ladder at? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Oops, I'm a dummy, guys. Sorry. It's a left instead of a right. No, what a waste of toilet paper! Just trigger that so I have that it's red. Get this thing out of my inventory, man. Make it so damn big. So does it kill him, kill him? Like, I don't want to waste. All right. So that unlocks that. Because I don't want to just shoot him one time and then, like, mess my day up. Oh. Huh. Oh. I see you, Resident Evil. You think you're sneaky sneaky. Ah, uh, give me back. This pain in the ass inventory thing. Well, what's over here then? Hold on. Is there anything I need over here? see something what's down here Okay, yeah, so I did all this just make sure, yeah, because then we had to take like a yeah, we had to go around, and that was uh, the whole thing. Okay, okay, I got it. Hmm. 
Nice. Hip pouch, that's what they're called. I'm just gonna call them the Joe Rogan fanny packs. It's a gunpowder. Explosive A. What if I combine these two together? Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, excuse me, Resident Evil. Alright, so everything's good in here. The way above. Oh, I see you. Okay. Well, damn. Oh, cool. No, thank you for that. The hip pouch, then. AKA the Joe Rogan fanny pack. You know what was the most annoying mission, though, in RE2? Was the... One with the keys that were part of the chess, and you had to like match them up. That was super annoying. get to that shop that I miss oh no oh no he's got the fire too escape the creature Bunk off, man. Damn. He can use weapons. He can use weapons. He's hardcore. He's hardcore. Oh, a save room. Well, let's see if we find anything else in here. Some health. Can always use some health. All right, that's everything in here. Okay, so first things first. Let's combine this with this. Explosive rounds, perfect, okay. Gunpowder. Uh, let's use this. Okay. Ah, uh, let me think. Alright, let's save. Lucky number seven. Okay. It's, this is basically to give you a breather, right? That's the whole point of this. Yeah, yeah. 
Whenever I see a generator or something, I feel like he's... Oh, no. Did I not take out the survival? Damn it, Mike. That's what I should have got. It. Going, Joe. Don't stand and look. What's wrong with you? you gotta keep going. I love how much of a badass they made Jill in this game. Oh man, cutscene. Keep going. So what, they just gave you a save room right in the middle of a chase scene? I mean, I definitely don't want to save it right now in the middle of it. I mean, I've already used seven, so I'm pretty sure I'm not eligible for anything cool after this playthrough. Oh, this is definitely a fight scene. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I appreciate all you guys joining us today. Hope you guys are being safe and sound. Hey man. Oh, okay. No, I don't need any of the herb. I got that. <laughs> oh, what a noob. I didn't... Come on. What I need is another shot at that Bane canister he has. Oh, damn. I 
Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Hey, dude. Hey man, don't you charge at me. Oh, he got my ass. Alright, that didn't kill. Alright, that's cool. I mean, whatever you want to give me, video game, that's cool. I'm alright with it. Oh, there's grenade ammo over there. Grab it, Joe. Hey. Alright, first off. Oh, I'm dead here, right? I knew. Is there anything left to grab? Oh, what's in there? Oh, okay. Oh, that one got me. Damn it. Son of a biscuit. That's number two. That sucked. I don't know if I need anything like that. Oh, well. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Use me, guys. I got the T-Virus. Hey, not cool, man. Gotta keep moving.
No, no not yet. Yeah, dude. She's hardcore. She's hardcore. She's hardcore. They're like Tomb Raider. Hold my beer. Ooh. Wow. Very cool. No big deal. That was a fun battle. Let's go ahead and find a safe spot and we'll call it a session here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Super Mercado Bros. It's Jill. Do you read me? Let's play a Resident Evil 3. So the next time we see Nemesis, he's going to be mutated, right? Wait a minute, is that the police department? Hmm. It is, it is the police department. Yeah, that's where uh, Claire and the dude are there. Yeah, sick. Can we go down there really fast? Let's see. This is what I'm saying, I would love like a mix of both RE2 and RE3 together. One super game. And look at that, they make you go down here when they get you high grade gunpowder. Nice. That's cool. See, like you hear knocking. So I love about this game. So I love about horror games is that they're able to put little sounds. Nice. Huh? Wait, there was ammo over there. Can I get back? 
Ah, I can't get back. That sucks. What was over there? Oh, handgun ammo. That's alright. it on for a little bit yeah all right what is that that banging sound I wonder if it's just to tweak you out Here's the gun store. This is uh, this is where these two stories intertwine. See, that's always really funny. Semi. Oh, nice. Very cool. Bang. So I love re. Though I love the big carrying case that made no sense but is also super badass. Flame rounds? Yeah, we'll do flame rounds. Not just it. What else we got? Oh, hang. Gunpowder? They really do give you a, uh, a heads up here. Oh, nice. See? Oh no. Make sure you guys watch our playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake. That's sad how it all. That's sad what, what ends up happening. Aww. I think we got everything and I think that's where we're gonna stop this playthrough my friends of Resident Evil 3 our let's play here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network and on youtube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network I appreciate you guys so much joining us make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Mike and Media and on Instagram at Mike Mercado Media get all our podcasts wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves join us here next time we love you guys we'll see you next time